Let's do a lightning round. Quick questions, quick right. answers. Uh, you started talking about Vice President Biden this week, and you said to your producers, now get the bleep button, because I may go over the line, and then you censored yourself. So I'll ask you, what do you think of Joe Biden? Uh, pompous, a uh, bit of a windbag, and wrong. About? Pretty much everything. I mean, there's a guy in July who says, well, we, uh, we guessed wrong on the stimulus jobs. We guessed wrong. Anybody with a brain could have told you this stimulus plan wasn't going to work. I mean, he's a walking comedy of errors. Sarah Palin, you say that you admire her backbone. Do you really think she's ready to be president? Well, yes, I do. See, I am a, uh, one thing I do not do is follow conventional wisdom. And the conventional wisdom of Sarah Palin is she's not smart enough. She needs to bone up on the issues. She's a um, little unsophisticated. She, uh, Alaska, where's that? Uh, doesn't have the pedigree. I've seen she's the only thing that provided any kind of a spark for the Republican Party. Now, this is not an endorsement, but I do have profound respect for Sarah Palin. There are not very many politicians who's been through what she's through, been put through, uh, and still able to smile and be ebullient and upbeat. I mean, this woman... I think is uh, pretty tough. Finally, some politics. You predict a possible bloodbath for Democrats in 2010. I really do. I know that there is an eruption waiting to happen at the ballot box. I know that a majority of the people in this country are opposed to every single major agenda item that Obama has proposed and is trying to get passed. The mainstream media doesn't do it, doesn't know it. They, they think they need a visa to go to Missouri. You know, they, they're not in touch with what's happening. And in fact, if they do find out that there's this kind of angst, they look at the voters with contempt. Well, you're not sophisticated to understand uh, how brilliant Obama is and how magical his agenda. They don't want any part of it. And it's going to be bigger than anybody thinks, especially, especially if health care gets passed and if they get cap and trade and they start going down this global warming fiasco track and get something passed on that, there will be a revolt at the polls. If you had to bet now, does Barack Obama win re-election in 2012? If I had to bet now, he will not. You got, got a name of somebody who's going to beat him? No. Can beat no, him? No, I have no clue about that. If he does win, how is Rush Limbaugh going to handle seven more years of Barack Obama? <laughs> you know, I'm glad you asked me that because one of the questions I always get is, but Rush, isn't Obama, aren't these Democrats in power good for your business? And my, the way I go about my business, I'm out to get the highest ratings I get every day. I'm out to attract the largest audience I can, ever, regardless of the news. It's, it's, my, it's my talent that draws the crowd. The news is incidental to it. No, I, I'm worried, seriously worried, about the future of the country. I would never put the, my personal success in front of what I think is something that's disastrous for the country. And seven more years of Barack Obama would well, be... Well, it would be painful. It, I mean, it would literally be painful. This is... Every day you get up and there's a new potential threat to liberty and freedom being launched by this man and his administration. And it's uh, it, it kind of be, I, mean, I, you know, some days I'm, I'm, in, I'm in radio and some days I feel like I'm in the trenches in a war. No bullets being fired, but, but trenches in a war. I mean, it's really, it's really intense when, you know, I love this country to have this kind of passion. And, and my, you know, I want Paul Revere. I want as many people to hear what I think the problems are. Because I believe the people of this country eventually make it, make it work and get what they want. I do believe in the democratic process and the vote. Raj, thank you. Thank you, Chris. There is much more of our interview with Rush Limbaugh, including what he thinks about this Tuesday's elections. And you can watch it by going to our blog, foxnewssunday.com.